Although we're going to have a little bit more cloud cover today. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about St. Patrick's Day festivities, so I wanted to start out with the parade. I like it. The parade starts at 1230. It's actually 4th and James, so if you're going to be uh, along that area, or if you want to go to the parade, that's where it will start. 4th and James and right along 4th at 1230 is what time that starts. Southwest wind around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures around lunchtime are going to be in the 50s already. Lower, but then by the end of the parade, probably starting to already get into the uh, mid and upper 50s for some of you. Partly sunny as we do expect a few more clouds today, and here's why. So there's an area of low pressure offshore. It's off to the north. Here's its associated front. That front is going to kind of break apart and dissipate over the waters. So we're not expecting any rain from this, but we could see the increasing clouds due to this. So this will continue to push towards the north and east. Any rain should stay towards the north. Again, along the coast or even near Nia Bay, where I was mentioning earlier, a few areas of drizzle, not completely out of the question, but it would be very short lived and we're not expecting much, if anything. So let's put the clock into motion. You can see relatively light winds out there. You can also see what direction they're heading. And then again, this is throughout the day today and it's looking pretty quiet. We will have more clouds today than tomorrow. It's not really showing up on this model in particular, but because we do have that system so close offshore, it will be filtering in uh, some of those clouds and filtering our sunshine. But then tomorrow we will see a little bit more uh, sun, if you will, less cloud cover. And once again, I'm blending into the background. <laughs> Let's get to those temperatures outside right now. I mentioned earlier we're seeing quite a range because some of you are in the lower 30s. Some of you are in the low to mid 40s. It just depends on where you are, but it looks like some of the cooler weather is down in the South Sound and then all the way up at the top in the north near Bellingham. But look at Bremerton. Bremerton, you are 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday, but it just kind of depends on where you are because now it's saying that the South Sound is actually warmer than this time yesterday, even though they're still one of the cooler spots. And up towards the north, Bellingham's actually five degrees cooler than this time yesterday. We're just kind of all over the place, aren't we? But it's because we're in that transition. And Cypher Fido's forecast to get you through the next several hours, and this is Abe. Look at this stick. He was so eager. <laughs> It's bigger than he is. It's double his size in length. Um, but as we go throughout your day today, again, partly sunny with temperatures ranging in the upper 50s to about 60 degrees and partly sunny in the mountains today with temperatures ranging in the mid 40s to the lower 50s. Easterly winds around 10 miles per hour and a freezing level starting at about 5,500 feet, bumping up to 6,500 feet this afternoon. So more sunshine tomorrow and even more as we get into the start of your work week with temperatures flirting with 70 degrees. You can see that Wednesday with those flowers. Oh yeah, that is the start of spring. We'll be right back.